Hey friends, today I am at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I came out today to see if I can join the one o'clock boarding groups for Rise of the Resistance and just have a beautiful day at Hollywood Studios. So, let's go do this. It's gonna be interesting to see if we're gonna be able to snag one of those one o'clock boarding groups. The park reservations are fully booked until June, so it's definitely very busy, and Memorial Day weekend is right around the corner. I think I'm gonna try the refresh method where I just pull down the screen and hopefully that green join button will actually pop up. So we've got two minutes. We'll wait and see what happens here. Join. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see. Join. Boom. Group 134. Whoo. 134, I think that is pretty amazing. I wasn't expecting to get anything, so I'll take 134. They are on boarding group 75 now, so I definitely think we're gonna be able to get on. The park closes at eight o'clock, maybe around six-ish. Hopefully, that's the plan. Until then, I think we are gonna do some of the classics here at Hollywood Studios. Maybe a trip to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I'm not too sure though, because the wait has been actually very long recently. So we're gonna just check it out. And if not, maybe on over to Rock and Roller Coaster. This is also my first day being back at Hollywood Studios since we no longer need to wear our mask outside. And I can tell you this, during the mask mandate, I feel like Hollywood Studios was one of the easiest parts to come to while wearing the mask because it's so small and it's easy to get to attractions compared to like Epcot and Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. So being here right now and not having a mask, it definitely feels amazing. Looks like Rock and Roller Coaster is 30 minutes, but it says the Tower of Terror is only a 25 minute wait. So I think we're gonna go up to the Tower of Terror and see what it looks like. Now, I've noticed that the wait times aren't really accurate at this point. So I'm just gonna see how far the uh, line goes back into the Phantasmic Theater area. Cause that's a good judge of character of how long the wait is. One time I got in line for the Tower of Terror and it was all the way in the actual theater itself. So it's gonna be nice, like I said. Let's see if maybe it's a little bit more inwards. Oh wait, look at this. This is actually pretty amazing. I mean, I've waited all the way back there, so I think we're going in. That is absolutely amazing. And now we have to put our face coverings on. That has been the shortest wait I've seen Tower of Terror probably in months. And uh, I hopped right on it. The second I saw it, when you had a not go in the back near Fantasmic, I was like, oh yeah, we're going for it. I can't think of any other ride that has a more themed exterior than the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I mean, if you guys can think of one, let me know in the comments. But when it comes to just the outside theming, Nothing can beat this. Look at those doors are opening. Just the garden area, the screams. It is amazing here. <laughs> I can't wait to ride. Does anybody else enjoy the smell of the boiler room at the Tower of Terror? I think it has like this strange musty smell, but I like it. Kind of like E.T. smell or Pirates of the Caribbean smell. Just a little bit unique in its own way. The Twilight Zone. <laughs> that was such a great ride and you know when you start off the day and your first ride is the Tower of Terror you are really setting yourself up to have a fantastic day so now I feel all ready to go like I'm I'm pumped now that really does get the blood moving and now I'm ready for the day and I think I'm gonna grab myself a beer and a nice snack. I feel like the Fairfax Fair actually has a new snackling sandwich cookie that is basically a marshmallow sandwich between pretzels and potato chips that I've seen and I thought, wow, I'm gonna try that the next time I go to Hollywood Studios. So here I am.
I got myself a nice little table underneath an umbrella, a good old Bud Light, and wait till you see this sandwich or this sandwich cookie. I am really excited to try this. This might be something like amazing actually. Look at it. I can't even believe it. Like it's got pretzels, it's got chips, it's got chocolate. These are shortbread and that's marshmallow in between. It's not hard, I think it's kind of soft. Yeah, it's very soft. And I don't know which way to bite. Should I go chocolate first or just take it on this side? I feel like I'm gonna be missing out on the pretzels and the potato chips. So I'm gonna do it on this side first. I have a very, very good feeling about this sandwich. We're gonna go right here. Why does that exist? That is absolutely amazing. A nice mixture between sweet and salty. It's very soft and flaky. So, so amazing. Oh, wow. This has got to be my new favorite treat right here. I love it. It is that good. That was a nice little snack, and now we got a beer to walk around with. Nothing like a, a nice cold beer on a hot Hollywood Studios day and the freedom to walk around while you drink it. Gotta love it. Now I think we're gonna head on over to Toy Story Land. I think it's such a beautiful day out. It would be amazing to ride Slinky Dog Dash right now. Look at those skies. It's almost perfect. I just don't understand this whole entire Memorial Day weekend. The reservations are completely gone. You have to basically try every day just to get a reservation, but yet the wait times are so low. Like, are people making reservations and not coming? There's only, they're like, honestly, the wait times are probably half of what they are normally like the past couple months. And I'm just thankful to be here for this. Look at this. We're actually getting in line right here for the actual Slinky Dog Dash queue. Like, that's insanity. Not even a 30 minute wait. That's insane. I love it. <laughs> and I always like to go back row on Slinky Dog. I feel like it's the best. Oh, look at that. This is one you definitely might want to watch your hats and glasses. I'm bald. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so excited! Winding up! today both slinky dog dash and tower of terror under 30 minutes and it's not even like a uh, like weird time it's three o'clock in the afternoon and it's almost memorial day weekend so like this isn't a down season this is great <laughs> I'm gonna head on into Star Wars Launch Bay. Now that we don't need to wear our mask, I wanna see if they actually have the maskless relax zone still in here. It'd be nice to get some AC, you know? 
Well, that was a quick no. So basically, where you used to be able to go in on the AC and take your mask off, now it is kind of just like an indoor attraction, so you need to wear your mask indoors. So it makes you think, you know, what would you rather, walk around without the mask on or be able to go in some places that have AC and take your mask off? I think I'll walk around without the mask all day long. <laughs> I mean, that's way better. Might as well keep the train a rolling and maybe go ride Runaway Railway. It looks like they're changing up the times right now, so we don't know how long it's going to be. Oh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, huh? Not too shabby. I mean, if we can successfully do this, Tower of Terror and Slinky Dog all in under 30 minutes, I think that is a great day. I asked one of the cast members and they said you don't need to wear your mask while you wait outside just once you get to the building when the queue starts there and actually Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway most of the queue is all outside so you, at least you get to like sit and wait without the mask. That's one added benefit of this spot. So all of this outdoor queue that wraps all the way around over there is uh, basically outside so you don't need to wear your mask. Now, I don't know if this is the same way for all the attractions with outdoor queues, but like uh, I asked here and they said, yeah, no, you don't need to wear it until you get inside. Now I'm already at the front of the Chinese theater and it only took about 20 minutes. So I don't think the queue on the inside is gonna be longer than 10 minutes. So all under 30 minutes. Unbelievable, I say. <laughs> I love reading the description of this ride. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a exciting journey through a variety of cartoon environments aboard a train car that travels forward, backward, and sideways in sudden and unpredictable manner. Very fancy. I've seen the train pulling up and I can tell they already have the plexiglass on it. I don't like the plexiglass on this ride. Uh, I feel like other rides, I can kind of get away with the plexiglass and it doesn't bother me as much. But I feel like the plexiglass really ruins the experience on this one. So hopefully we don't get it. And I was lucky enough to get row number one. So fancy that. See, this is what I'm talking about, the plexiglass. It's a little difficult. Here comes my train though. Look at that bell. La 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 la.
bouncing right around the park. And thanks for sticking with me. Hi, picnickers. Told you nothing was going to go wrong. <laughs> Was nice. I love Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I think it's a nice, cooling, relaxing ride. And now it looks like we're just in time to catch one of the character cavalcades. And it looks like it's Sully. I love Sully. Oh yeah, there he is. Sully is one of my favorite characters. I don't know why. I love his uh, gigantic arms. And when he used to do meet and greets, he was the best to give hugs. Like his, he would literally wrap them all the way around you. <laughs> and as that cavalcade went by, it looks like our group was called for Rise of the Resistance. So we're going to head down into Galaxy's Edge, and I'm excited to ride. It's been a while, like I said. I think at least, I don't think I've ridden it since 2020. Holy moly. Look at this. Oh, I love these fans in here. And there's not even a queue on the outside. Wow, we really are lucking out today. I'm excited. The queue on the inside was only about 10 minutes, and now we're gonna actually start the ride. I'm excited. I feel like the queue itself, once you get to the point where you get to meet the holographic ray, I think that's when the ride starts. You know what I mean? Everything else is just the queue, but right then, when you walk in that first room with BB 8, that's when the ride begins. Oh, we gotta get in, we gotta get in. Wow, they took away the plastic separators in here. And they took away the dots on the floor. So it's a free for all. Gotta get inside, get to the ship! Do you see a move? You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Nothing to worry about here, nothing to worry about. Down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Who got you? Recruits. For your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs>
And now we are back out in this very hot, hot day. Not too sure how much longer I'm gonna hang out today. I mean, I feel like we got a lot accomplished in a little bit of time. In fact, I actually might call it an end right now. We did so many attractions. We did Slinky Dog Dash, Tower of Terror, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Rise of the Resistance, and it's five o'clock. We've been here for just about four hours and we got all that accomplished. I feel like that is an amazing day at Hollywood Studios. Now I'm gonna just relax a little bit and make my way out and definitely take advantage of some places where I can cool off a little bit because I definitely a little bit hot. Anywho, I just keep on going on and saying definitely but anywho I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye but before we go we gotta say goodbye to Chippendale Minnie Pluto and Mickey hey friends oh look at Pluto <laughs> and then here he comes, the boss. Look at that jacket. Hey, Belle. <laughs>